Welcome to Prelude. So Adobe uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Prelude. This this program is really cool. Um, basically, when we ingest footage um, or a data wrangler, excuse me, ingests footage, they bring all the footage in from various media. So whether it's an SD card, Compact Flash, CFast card, they bring all the footage in. They add what's called metadata or information about the each clip or the scene or anything that's on that card they add metadata to it so they can they can find it and they record all the data and and back up everything off of that card onto a hard drive in the future we're going to use prelude to ingest or bring in all of our footage into uh, the computer and save it or back it up onto the NAS So welcome to Adobe Creative Cloud Prelude. Again, this is 2019. Uh, we may have 2020 um, already in our systems, but this is 20, 2019. So I've opened it up, and uh, and we've got here open project, uh, open team project. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new project right off the bat. And uh, where do we want to save this project? Just like uh, Adobe likes to do this all the time. Let's find a spot. Let's see here. Well, for right now, I'll just put this on this drive. Uh, learning, yeah. Yeah. Locate a spot on the drive where you want to put this. I'm going to create a new folder real quick. And I'm going to call this one Prelude Test just for the sake of this tutorial. And then double click that and save it there. Okay. And you can name your project as well. All right. So I've got a blank slate. What the heck do I do? Well, let's take a look. In the upper right corner, well, of course, on the let's start off slower. On the on the left, you've got your projects. Project name is currently untitled. Uh, you've got your program, uh, most likely going to be your program monitor, where you can see a clip uh, and and scrub through it or play it. Marker inspector. So in some places, like um, if you're recording with an Atomos Ninja. Um, you can actually create markers on your Ninja, like the Ninja V. And so when you ingest your footage from the Ninja V, it will have your markers um, here for you. So you can take a look at that. It's pretty cool. Uh, you have different timelines and of course your markers, similar to Premiere, okay? A lot of these things are similar to Premiere. Um, I don't have any of that right now. Um, so let's take a look. Let's go ahead and take a look at ingest. So first off, I'm gonna click ingest. If up in the upper right corner and here we go now we've got um, now we've got a bunch of drives you can see all the different drives that are connected to my system let's see what we've got um, okay so I found some clips here um, this works on anything you've got connected to your your computer it's gonna read anything so in this particular case um, I've got some drone footage from an event and I'm gonna select them all just by I to do this, I select the first one, shift select the last one, and then I hold down shift and I select this little checkbox. And just like that, I've got all of those selected. All right. So let's go over here to, to, to the right and see what we've got. We've got transfer clips to destination. We've got file metadata, file rename. So let's take a look. We're going to say uh, transfer clips to destination. That's one thing we're going to want to do. So let's go to browse for location. And let's find a location. I'm just going to put one in here and say, I'm going to create a new folder for this, just so we know. Drone uh, test. That's fine. It's going to ultimately, for me, uh, create duplicates right now, but that's okay. So, drone test. And I'm going to select that folder. Great. That's where it's going to go. And I don't want to add a subfolder. I guess I could have just done that, but oh well. Um, otherwise, when you bring them in, you could add a subfolder and it will package everything right up into a subfolder and you could click that give your subfolder a name uh, I like to name if you look off to the left here I like to name my things audio cam 1 cam 2 uh, drone cam 3 whatever so you might want to do that when you bring it in I could have easily just said drone test down here and called it good right uh, verify MD5 comparison File size comparison, bit by bit comparison. We'll just leave this set to default right now. Basically, what that's doing here is it's going to um, 
it's going to verify that yes it transferred everything over and it's not going to hiccup or it's not you know you're not going to have an error so it's going to verify that yes your footage is backed up that's something good you definitely want to do that I want this checked I want to verify MD5 definitely want to verify that checked so that's good there we can add some metadata what is this let's take a look here so I'll click add file metadata apply to all destinations that's fine first step up hmm there's nothing here well what can we do let's add a let's add a new preset and we're gonna call this one I'm just gonna add a thing here I'm gonna call this one um, actually no we're gonna start with uh, I'm gonna call this one client or project so call this project name okay Let's add another one, and I'm going to call this one uh, source. Okay. And once we have this set, we're good to go. Now, file rename. Do I want to rename my files? If you're going to rename a file, do it on your ingest. Don't rename them after you've brought them into the computer um, and people have started working. If you rename a file in the middle of an edit, someone else may be using that file and you'll, you'll disconnect their links in Premiere and they won't know where to look. So if you're going to rename a file, rename it here. I don't like to rename files. I like to keep the source name there. So I'm going to keep that there. And... Um, and you might even put the date in here too, date. All right, and I'm gonna move that up. So we've got the project name, the date, and the source. That looks good. And then I'm gonna save that as field names are invalid, hmm. Okay, so we've got project, and I've given this a name, trig, okay, for the client's name. Uh, date, that's the date that this took place, 1-12-19. And then the source. Well, this is the drone footage, right? So drone or aerial. Um, one thing with metadata, with file metadata, it does not like spaces. If you put like project space name, uh, you'll get an error. Okay. But if you put project underscore name, okay, that will work. Okay. Of course, make sure that these are checked one two and three and then you're gonna click this little button right down here whoops this one right here it says save and uh, you're gonna type a name so I'm gonna call this one simple project just like that and click OK metadata name contains invalid characters well let's try this okay oh simple huh underscore project I bet that's it there we go just like that again does not like spaces so next time if I come by here I can go up here uh, and say uh, so. There's our there's our uh, project name metadata, right? Um, so next time I could actually just recall that just by going up here and saying um, right here to this little drop down by itself. You could actually apply. Oh, there it is. Simple preset. We already have our own simple preset. It used to say none. Now it says simple project. There we go. And then I'm just going to click ingest, just like that. And it tells you total checked files, and now it's going to sit and process. All right, and it's processing. You can see down here in the lower left corner, it says ingesting, and you've got this little uh, process bar. It says 16%. You can pause or cancel it at any time, and you can see one, two, three, four, five. They're slowly coming through. Um, while they're, they're, they're currently processing. So now, what have we got? Well, let's double click on one of them and we can actually scrub through our project and take a look and see what we've got going on here. Okay? And uh, that's an easy way to ingest it. Easy way to bring your footage in to uh, your computer off of your card. Now, um, how do we know this has been backed up? Let's take a look. If I say, um, hmm, reveal in Explorer, let's take a look at that, see what that does. Look at that. They're all right here. Yours truly media, 120, uh, my cloud extra, so they're not on this drive anymore. 
they're actually on my cloud extra drag drone test remember this is that folder that I created just a little bit ago and now you can see all of them are done or they're up there processing right now